Hello and welcome to Declassified. I'm your host, Gina Shakespeare. On this episode, the a one IT scandal explained how the emails and personal files of at least 44 House Democrats could have been stolen and transferred overseas by their own IT workers. So what makes this story important? The Awan incident has all the markings of a serious government scandal with hacking, foreign actors, large amounts of money and high-level politicians all tied into it. While this appears to be a serious issue, most news outlets either aren't touching it or are trying to play it down in misleading and often bizarre ways. The case also doesn't appear to be going through proper steps of investigation on the government level. So what are the benefits in learning about this IT scandal? One of the main reasons that corruption can exist is that the public is often not aware of what's taking place. Major news outlets avoided or falsely framed this story for reasons we can only speculate on. So it's important for the public to be aware of issues like this. And why tell this story again now? Well, on the surface, the case appears to have been closed, but the most serious issues of potential involvement among politicians, potential foreign espionage and other key issues were never addressed. The case has all the markings of having been swept under the rug by special interests. The Epoch Times aims to be the global newspaper of record with a positive influence on society. Therefore, editor-in-chief of the US editions, Jasper Fackett, has laid out the story from beginning to end for the benefit of the public and also for future reference. The infographic we will supply you toward the end was made in part based on the reporting of the Daily Caller News Foundation. Just before we get started, if this content sounds interesting to you, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like and hit the notifications button. Okay, let's dig deep into this. Here it is, the Awan IT scandal explained. At the center of the controversy are Imran Awan, his brother Abed Awan, and five other family members and associates. They worked as shared IT employees for 44 House Democrats and had access to the House members' sensitive data including emails, calendars, constituents' data, and personal files, despite having little to no IT experience. All of the 44 House members had waived the background checks on the employees, according to an Inspector General's report. Some of the members served on committees that handle sensitive and sometimes classified information, such as the House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence, the House Committee on Homeland Security, and the House Committee on Foreign Affairs. The IT workers were paid an estimated $7 million by Congress since 2004, despite the fact that some of them were not seen at work and in some cases worked remotely from Pakistan. In September 2016, the House Office of Inspector General warned House leadership and the Committee on House Administration that the IT workers had made unauthorized logins on systems of House members they were not employed by. In some cases, they continued to log in to the computers of members who had previously fired them they also logged in using the personal credentials of congressmen the office found. The findings came during the heat of the 2016 presidential race, and as Wikileaks was publishing emails from the Democratic National Committee, which was chaired by Representative Debbie Wasserman Schultz, who had employed Imran Awan since 2005. And despite the findings, access to congressional servers by the IT workers was not restricted until months later after the election. An analysis spanning seven months by the IG found that the five IT workers made excessive logons to a server belonging to a group similar to the DNC, the House Democratic Caucus. A total of 5,735 logons were recorded, an average of 27 times per day. The IG in the briefing, which was not publicly released, said, quote, Excessive logons are an indication that the server is being used for nefarious purposes and elevated the risk that individuals could be reading and or removing information, unquote. The IG briefing also reveals that Dropbox had been installed on at least two computers that were uploading files online in defiance of House policy. The Dropbox accounts contained thousands of files which, according to the IG, contained information that was likely sensitive. The House leaders Paul Ryan and Nancy Pelosi did not ban the five IT workers from the network until February 2, 2017, when their access was blocked by the Sergeant at Arms. The Committee on House Administration put out a statement that acknowledged suspicious activity and said a theft investigation was ongoing. The Awan family. 
Imarana Wan, who immigrated from Pakistan to the United States in 1997, was hired in 2004, the same year he gained citizenship by Representative Javier Becerra, Representative Gregory Meeks, and soon after, Wasserman Schultz. Imarong quickly began earning among the highest salaries on Capitol Hill, after his salary hit a pay cap under congressional rules that prevents staffers from earning more than congressmen, other Democrats began adding Imaron's relatives to their own payrolls as IT aides, even though they did not have any background in IT. In 2005, Imaron's brother Abid joined the payroll, and in 2007, Imaron's wife Hina Alvia Wan was also added. In 2011, Abida Wan's wife, Ukrainian-born Natalia Sova, was added to the congressional payroll. Civil court documents show that during this time, Abid and his wife were running a used car dealership named Cars International A, which accepted a loan from Ali Alatar, an Iraqi political figure of Iranian heritage who was wanted by the IRS and FBI on unrelated tax fraud charges. In 2012, Abida Wan filed for bankruptcy discharging $1.1 in debts despite his high salary. Documents show that a better one owed money to a man named Rao Abbas, who reportedly worked at McDonald's. Shortly after, several House Democrats began paying Abbas as their ostensible IT aide. In 2014, the youngest Awan brother, Jamal, was added to the payroll at age 20 and was soon earning as much as a congressman. In total, the IT workers received $7 million in congressional pay and were responsible for the IT of one in every five House Democrats, or 44 in total. Imran Awan himself took frequent trips to Pakistan and told associates he worked remotely from that country, the Daily Caller reported. Background checks on the Awans and their associates were waived despite a number of red flags. Background checks are designed in part to reveal weaknesses such as financial difficulty that could be exploited by outside actors. Suspicious activity on server. The House Democratic Caucus, whose server was identified as ground zero of the cybersecurity problems, was led by Becerra from 2013 to January 2017 when he became California's Attorney General. The IG investigation also revealed that the, quote, pattern of login activity suggests steps were being taken to conceal their activity, unquote. This included the use of active role servers, which could have been used to grant access on a temporary basis and could have been used to evade network monitoring. According to the IG presentation, the Democratic Caucus server, quote, could be used to store documents taken from other offices or evidence of other illicit activity, unquote. The unusual login activity could also indicate computers were, quote, used as a launching point to access other systems for which access may be unauthorized, unquote. The installation of Dropbox on two Democratic Caucus computers used by the IT workers raised concerns that those computers could have been used to transfer data out of Congress to other groups or nation states. According to other congressional IT workers, congressional staff and IT workers are prohibited from using Dropbox due to security concerns. The IG report states, quote, While file-sharing sites such as Dropbox have legitimate business purposes, use of such sites is also a classic method for insiders to exfiltrate data from an organization, unquote, sensitive data and potential blackmail. Among the data hosted on the IT systems of House members are emails, calendars, House members' personal files, and personal information of constituents who have contacted their representative's office. Such sensitive data could prove useful to companies and other entities around the world. During an informal hearing on the issue in Congress on October 10, 2017, Representative Louis Gomer said, quote, we know that there are countries and companies, entities around the world, who would pay a lot of money to have access to some members' calendars, to their emails, see who they are meeting with, see what they're saying about those meetings. That could be very valuable information, unquote. In certain cases, personal files and data could also be used to blackmail politicians. Investigations. Following its warning to House leadership on September 20, 2016, the Office of Inspector General provided another briefing on September 30, warning of continuing unauthorized access by the IT workers. The investigation was then taken away from the Inspector General in October and handed over to Capitol Police, despite the police having no cybersecurity expertise. In January, Imarana Wong was able to travel to Pakistan unimpeded. 
A server belonging to the House Democratic Caucus was stolen after the Inspector General's report named it as evidence in a hacking probe, three senior government officials told the Daily Caller. Around the same time, the head of the caucus, Representative Javier Becerra, left Congress to become California's Attorney General. Prosecutors say that FBI agents had been surveilling her and that they approached her at the airport where she refused to speak to them. A search revealed Hina was carrying $12,400 in cash and many of her personal belongings, some packed into cardboard boxes. Despite this, she was allowed to board the plane. When Amarona Wan tried to leave the country on July 24th, the FBI arrested him at the airport. A month later, on August 17th, both Amaron and Hina were indicted for bank fraud. In September, Hina reached a deal with prosecutors to return to the United States from Pakistan. Missing IT equipment. The initial investigation by the Office of Inspector General also found that the shared IT employees were involved in irregular purchases of technology, such as iPads, iPhones, and other equipment. Under congressional rules, inventory must be kept of all purchases by House members of equipment that has a purchase price of $500 or more. The IG found that some offices that employed the awans were signing off on forms that manipulated pricing to make expensive products appear like they cost less than that. Examples of purchases made this way include an iPad that had an original cost of $799 that was billed for $499 together with AppleCare that was billed for $350 despite its actual cost being $88. To accomplish this, the Awans allegedly worked with CDW Government, a major government contractor which says it is cooperating with prosecutors but has been told it is not a target. The IG report also found that 75 pieces of equipment with a total purchase price of just over $118,000 went missing from one of the offices where a bidder one worked. The office was later revealed to be that of Representative Yvette Clark. The missing equipment included laptops, iPads, TVs, video conferencing equipment and computers. The IG report said a bidder one who was responsible for the equipment made contradicting statements about it. Family members of the Awans told the Daily Caller that they shipped a significant number of devices such as iPads and iPhones to Pakistan. But one of Imran Awans' lawyers said it was congressmen who wanted invoices falsified. Aaron Page told the Daily Caller that, quote, This is what experienced members of Congress expect, to expedite things they adjust the pricing, unquote. A bit of Awans attorney, Jim Bacon, told the Washington Post that, quote, in a fluid situation, you do what you're ordered to do. It sounds to me like there's a lot of scapegoating here. Unquote. Wasserman Schott's laptop. Two months after being banned from the House IT network by the Sergeant at Arms, Imarana Wan left a laptop with a username RepDWS in a phone booth, along with a letter to prosecutors and copies of his House ID card and driver's license, according to a Capitol Police report. The bag was found by Capitol Police and seized. During a televised hearing on May 18, 2017, Wasserman Schultz threatened the Capitol Police Chief with consequences if the laptop was not returned. She hired a lawyer in an attempt to prevent prosecutors from looking at the contents of the laptop. Emails of Wasserman Schultz released by WikiLeaks reveal that Imarana Wan had the login to her iPad. This means he would have had access to all of her personal information, including her calendar, emails and notes. In an October court appearance, Imarana Wan's lawyer Chris Nolan said he feels very strongly that the Rep DWS laptop should not be used as evidence, citing attorney-client privilege. Both Imarana Wan and Wasserman Schultz have been provided with an image of its hard drive. Investigation On July 2nd, Awan reached a plea deal with prosecutors in the bank fraud case. He pleaded guilty to one count of bank fraud in a deal that ensures he will not be charged with any non-violent crime offences committed within the District of Columbia prior to the agreement. As part of the deal, charges were dropped against Awan's wife, Hina Alvi Awan. His lawyer, Gowan, said they are seeking a probation-only sentence without fine or restitution. Prior to the announcement of the plea deal, the hearing had been postponed an unusual seven times. The Department of Justice and its findings contradicted House investigators who had found numerous unauthorized logins by Awan and his associates on congressional computers. The DOJ said it had interviewed Awan during numerous voluntary interviews and had examined the House Democratic Caucus server 
along with other computers, hard drives and electronic devices. Quote, the government has uncovered.